Alrighty, so I think we're uh, we're all ready here. Uh, we're about to start with bonus game number two, Sonic R. Inputs, take it away. Hi, it's me again. Um, so yeah, this is Sonic R. Um, this is originally a game that came out on Sega Saturn, but this is a re-release on GameCube, which is part of Sonic Gems Collection. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm going to pick Knuckles here. And I'm going to start on Reactor Factory. So I will start in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so I will be doing the 100% category. Um, so you might be wondering what does 100% um, entail to you in this game. So you see uh, in the bottom right corner there is a map of the track and the map is a huge pile of spaghetti. Um, so there's a lot of different routes you can take in this level, uh, or in all the levels, in fact. And um, basically, there's a lot of um, collectibles hidden across the stage in different paths. So in every stage, there is uh, one to two Chaos Emerald, uh, Emeralds and five Sonic tokens. So the goal is to get all of these. If you uh, collect all the Chaos Emeralds on every stage, you unlock Super Sonic in the end. And if you uh, collect all five Sonic tokens on a stage and then win the race, you uh, basically get a boss race against a unlockable character, again on the same track. And um, from winning that, you uh, unlock that character. So basically what you do is you play each track twice, once for uh, collecting everything and once for beating it as quickly as possible. So right now I'm going through the track, um, finishing up here my collectibles. Um, so on lap three, uh, I'm getting the two Chaos Emeralds. They are uh, locked behind ring gates. So these gates that I need 50 rings for to open and then they come shot out of cannon in front of me and drop down from the sky like this so I can pick them up here. Uh, the second one is similar, just through this gate over here and it comes out of the submarine in front of me. It's falling down from the sky here. And now for the final Sonic token, I'm going up here, and it's in the behind this 20 ring gate. Got a quick turnaround, and that's the first race done. So as I said, now I'm in the challenge race, um, and now I just have to beat the stage as quickly as possible, and I don't have to collect anything anymore. So instead of actually playing the stage, which is slow and lame and we've already done that i'm going to turn around go into this corner and wiggle back and forth a little bit and see what happens the wrong thing happens of course let's try that again you can probably already guess what's going to happen There we go. So now we are out of bounds, so I'm going to line myself up next to the finish line, cross it while being out of bounds, and then turn around and loop back behind it and cross it again, and that counts as a lap. So this is how we're beating these very quickly, in a matter of uh, 40 seconds, and that was extremely bad luck. <laughs> so this can go much quicker, obviously. So like three to four seconds per lap goes by really quickly, and as the the uh, the stage ended there. What I did was I, uh, as the screen was fading out, I pa I paused and quit out, and that skips the victory animation of the challenge race. You got to be careful with that though, because if you do it too quickly, you don't unlock the character, which invalidates your run. Um, for this track, uh, I switched to Metal Knuckles. Metal Knuckles is very useful. He's very fast, uh, but most importantly. Um, he has the ability to uh, jump over water without losing any speed, which is very useful for this stage because that's a lot of water. If you've ever seen a Sonic R speedrun before, most likely you've seen the No Out of Bounds category, um, which uh, changes the weather in the game settings, which you can do to snow, so all the water freezes and you can just uh, run over the water. Uh, but you can't do that in this category in Out of Bounds because that changes the way the collision of the stage works and the clips won't work anymore. So uh, on this category you have to play with the water and the best way to do that is by using one of the metal characters, either Metal Knuckles or Metal Sonic. Metal Knuckles has the advantage that he is actually able to do 
the uh, corner clips that you saw me do in the previous stage, uh, which not all characters can do. Metal Sonic can't, Metal Knuckles can, so he's the best uh, character for this here. So coming up to the end of Resort Island. And now uh, we are going to do the same thing that I did previously in Reactor Factory. Uh, just beating the stage as quickly as possible, which in this case is turning around, heading over to this rock right here, and wiggling back and forth. So the thing about these clips is uh, the clips are very inconsistent, and they can take anywhere from basically instant to however long they want. So if you want a good time in this category, you really gotta grind for your good luck. With the clips, that was... Uh, Alright for no reset run, I suppose, uh, but it can go much quicker. Um, but yeah, that's Resort Island, another cutscene skip, and we are off to the next stage. <clears throat> so, um, Radical City is the next stage that's that I'm go going to do. I'm going to stick with Metal Knuckles here. Uh, Radical City is... Um, very consistent to get all of the uh, pickups that I have to get within the first two laps. Um, on other stages, it's a lot harder because, uh, as you saw, um, a lot of these uh, collectibles um, require a certain ring count. And uh, it's kind of RNG dependent a lot of times if you can get the ring count in time to get everything as early as possible. But on this stage, it's very consistent and you can get a lot of rings very, very quickly. And you don't actually need that many rings, so you're good. Um, so I can consistently collect everything in the first two laps and then use lap three actually to clip out of bounds to skip that. Uh, until we get there, I'm going to talk about how the movement in this game works. So what you see me do a lot of times is bump into walls like that um, or slide along walls. And what that basically does is um, uh, it sets me up for drifts. And basically, anytime you are in a drift in certain angles, you can gain extra speed. Um, there's also a technique called counter drifting, where you first get into a drift, and then as soon as you're in a drift, you press the opposite drift button to the direction you're facing, and that gets into a counter drift, which allows you to carry a lot of speed from a drift on straight sections, and you can also uh, you, you also gain more speed in total than from a regular drift. It's just harder to use, uh, and it takes some practice to to really get the hang of to to use effectively. So that's the clip for um, Radical City. We're just going to do one lap skip here, and that's that. And now off to the challenge race against the one and only extremely spooky tail stall. Um, who is not going to eat our soul today, so no worries. Turning all around, seen. using a nice counter drift down here. Sorry, what was that? All has seen better days. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's the clip here. And once again, crossing between these two pillars and triggering the lap. So these pillars are basically markers for where the finish line is on this track. This one's very, very easy to, to figure out. And another cutscene skip. And we are off to the next stage. For the next stage, uh, which is going to be Regal Ruin, I'm actually going to, um, to switch characters to Metal Sonic. Um, if you paid attention earlier, um, you might be wondering, but didn't you say Metal Sonic can't do clips? That is correct. Uh, Metal Sonic actually can't do the clips that you saw me do, where you wiggle in the corner. But there's a different way to get out of bounds in the stage, which we're going to see on the challenge race. Uh, until then, um, the stage is pretty straightforward, and I have to take a completely different route on each lap to collect everything. So there's no opportunity for me to clip out early or anything. Um, if there are any donations, now would be a good time to read them, or any announcements or anything. Uh, while we don't have any recent donations, uh, I will also throw out that uh, all revenue from Twitch subscription and cheered bits uh, during the Fastest First Fall Festival will be donated to TransLife. So get yourself some sweet PV modes now, and don't forget to check to see if you have a 
free Twitch Prime sub available too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we're coming up to the last uh, lap of this track here. Um, so the emeralds in the stage are hidden in these pyramids that I just went through. Usually you're supposed to activate the gate in front of them and then the pyramids slowly open up to reveal the emerald inside. But as soon as you go through the gate, the pyramids lose all collisions so you don't actually have to wait for them to open. Um, so you can just go through. <clears throat> um, yeah, final... Final corner here for Regal Ruin. And off to the final challenge race of the run against Acrobo. So this right here is the trick that I mentioned earlier, a different way to get out of bounds. It's actually the hardest trick in this run, but also the only one that's consistent. So I'm gonna jump through here. Nice, I got a first try, that's really cool. So basically you wanna do a short jump uh, in a specific position through that bank turn and that gets you out of bounds and then you can go around and line yourself up in this pillar which is a invisible wall next to the finish line and this is where you can loop your laps so this part right here is the reason why i switched to metal sonic for this track because metal sonic actually has better turning than metal knuckles which is uh, very good for this part right here because uh, the difference is a lot more notable underwater and doing this with metal knuckles loses like 10 seconds but we've beaten all the stages except for the final ones we've collected all the chaos emeralds so that means we unlock supersonic and we can use supersonic to do the final level radiant emerald so in radiant emerald there's nothing to collect anymore so i just have to beat as quickly as possible unfortunately in radiant emerald there is no reliable way to skip anything but there's something we can get if we get very lucky didn't get it here so i was sliding into the wall there at the start so what I haven't mentioned yet is basically any time you slide along a wall with, the huge, with huge speed, there's a slim chance that the collision just doesn't work and you just flip out of bounds. If that happens uh, there at the start of the stage, you can skip half of one lap um, and save like around 13 seconds. But you have to get extremely lucky to get that. And uh, my world record in this category has one clip. Uh, in Radiant Emerald, which is very nice. I had to grind a long time for that. Um, I even had a previous world record that had two clips in it for some reason. That was incredible. Uh, but yeah, these these clips are very unlikely to get. There, I, I missed another one. So that's nothing really you can do to make them more consistent. Um, they are very rare. Um, I'm actually I'm a, the only person who has ever done a individual level run of this stage with a clip on every lap and it took me uh, a total of 96 hours to grind out i did that over the course of a couple weeks um it was uh, quite a test of patience but <laughs> i did it eventually but yeah um so just to give you a perspective on on how unlikely these clips are but yeah we're in the final lap of radiant emeralds so time is coming up very soon And once I cross the finish line, and that's time. Yeah, that's Sonic R 100%. This is a very short category despite completing the game. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, by the way, I did a lot of glitching here. You can even beat this game in under 15 minutes glitchless. So this is a very short game either way. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this run. I, I'm really enthusiastic about this category in particular. So I'm always happy to show it off, and I know this was a, a bonus game, so uh, super awesome that I could show this off here. Uh, very thankful for to all of you. You are all awesome. Thank you so much for having me. I hope uh, you had a good time with my two runs. That was that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, chat is kind of popping off right now. Um, thank you so much for showing us these games, for absolutely killing it on your runs, uh, and for uh, helping helping this wonderful cause and uh, Team Fastest Furs. Um, we do have one more donation that came in, uh, $26 from TK Wolf. Hmm, who's that? Uh, let's get a nice round number in there. Props him for an excellent and entertaining two runs to all the other runners, staff, and audience for making this weekend fantastic. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I had a good time. Thank you for having me. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon. Keep donating. It's a wonderful cause. Um, uh, thank you so much all for, for doing this. And yeah, uh, I'll see you. <laughs>